With Cheatham High School scheduled to open next school year, redistricting of students at John F. Kennedy and George Washington High School has been planned to help alleviate overcrowding. But the plan to redistrict students to the new school is not being welcomed by many students, in particular JFK's senior class of 2015, class president Samuel Tom. Today we're just having a rally to kindly ask the Board of Education and the superintendent to have special consideration for the incoming seniors seeing as we've come together for the past three years and worked diligently to raise funds to provide for, you know, the best senior, senior year ever. The graduating class of 2015 were the first freshman class to experience the new JFK campus and would like to fulfill their four years there. Tom says they are protesting because they want answers and feel that a decision is taking too long. After today, we hope to have, if not convinced, we've hoped to pers have persuaded the superintendent and the Department of Education to have that special consideration for the incoming seniors and hopefully they'll have that special consideration for the other schools being affected as well. Tom says for the last three years his class has been working hard to raise funds needed for all their events planned for the next year and he questions what will happen to all the funds when the class is split up. But that is not his only concern. All those connections that we've made with each other, we've come to not only be known as classmates and acquaintances and our teachers aren't just our teachers anymore. Our teachers and our classmates, we're all a family. We're a big Islander family. Superintendent John Fernandez says they do have a plan and apologizes for not getting the word out sooner. My message to them and, and to uh, the students at GW as well is that we do have a, a plan for them. Uh, we're going to be allotting 100 out-of-district slots to JFK and to GW so that the principals can can uh, be implement those out of those requests to to stay for those juniors who want to stay. Fernandez says they wanted to prioritize academic, career or technical programs that may or may not be offered at Teton High. He says that students who are concerned and want to continue in the programs that they may have been participating at their home school may use the 100 out of district slots. So what's, what, what will happen today is that we'll put out the official uh, standard operating procedure that is basically almost in final form to the principal so they can give it to the students and families. And uh, therefore, after that, I think the students know will know that they need to go to their principal and make a request for out-of-district um, consideration. Fernandez adds that with the 100 slots, they will be able to address most of the requests. Requests will be accepted in July. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovid.